You are welcome to the Mirror TV. We offer you news, local, national, and international, on politics, religious, and social cultural events, project work documentary, live documentary, and a lot more. Contact us today and do not forget to subscribe to our channel so as to get our updates on daily basis. Another cholera outbreak. In an Ndawoke, in a boy local government area, we are three children are infected by the virus. Reverend Dr. Joseph Mwibo, the Chief Administrator, Sudan Mission Hospital Online Magbaja, Sudan Mission Hospital Ijogo, and Sudan Health Center Ekrigwe, made this known to newsmen when he got a distress call that three children in Ndawoke village is affected on cholera outbreak. He alerted the Commissioner of Health, Chairman Iju Local Government, and the Chairman Ebon Local Government. Even though we have only three cases here, but we are dispersed because where these three patients are coming at the nearby village, just a few uh, meters away here. And the father was here and he explained how they got, they got infected, which, which means that we may anticipate that you know this time, all of you are medical personnel, so you know how uh, it works, how it uh, transmits from one person to another. Before you know it, it will, it will happen. The Iju local government chairman, Barista Stephen Emenike Wangba, who alerted Commissioner of Health, Dr. Moses Ekuma, who onward sent a medical team with an intervention material to meet Reverend Joseph Mwibo in the village to curtail the outbreak in Ndawuke village in the local government area of the state. We pray that with all these interventions, we'll be able to contain them. The CMD Sudan Mission Hospitals, Reverend Dr. Joseph Mwibo, Thank a Bon State Governor for equipping all the hospitals in a Bon State, and as well the Commissioner of Health, Dr. Moses Ekma, for prompt action to any outbreak, and as well the local government chairman for his active response to calls to rescue human lives. Our special thanks, first of all, go to our governor who has equipped all the hospitals. I mean the especially uh, the, all the hospitals, so that uh, when it comes like this, we who are operating mission hospitals, the people will be able to intervene in time and bring all these uh, commodities. We can never thank you enough. And secondly, we want to thank the executive chairman of Fiji Local Government Council, Honorable Barrister Stephen Emenike Wangpata. I called him a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago. You know what he told me? They are coming. That is what he texted me. They are coming. And immediately I came here to move the people who are following. So please, our thanks go to him. And we pray that God will bless his family. All that he is doing, it is only God who will reward him. I also called the local government uh, chairman of the body. He also told me that uh, But Mantha, his intention is to save lives irrespective of the local government because we are all in G. Here is a boy local government, but it doesn't mind whether it is G local government or a boy local government. It is to save lives. And we can never thank you to go uh, enough. Do not forget to thank the Honorable Commissioner for uh, Honorable Dr. Moses Nana Ekuma. Yes, uh, and the state. Because the other time, immediately I texted a, a Commissioner for Health. He told me I was on my way, I am on my way to the hospital. Before I could even reach the hospital myself, the chief had been was already there with all the communities and with his people. We can never thank him enough. May God keep them for us, may God come to bless them. What we are praying is that let God intervene. Reverend Wibo noted that the epidemic started in Indibokete village in Niji local government area of a Boni state last week, but now is already in a Boni local government in an Indawoke village. The epidemic, we don't know how. You see, it started in Indibokete. Before we could know it, we could know it. It is here. It struck here. Nobody knows where it will strike again. But what we know is that God will serve will have mercy upon us. The CMD. Sudan Mission Hospital Reverend Joseph Mwibo, with his team alongside with medical practitioners, sensitized 
the student of Preferman Comprehensive Secondary School, Ekribwe, as well moved to Ogbala Market to sensitize the general public on the necessary approach to curtail the outbreak in the area. We have an emergency. That is why we decided to come and let you know that it is an outbreak of cholera. Have you heard it? Yes. yes. Okay. But we want to let you know that you shouldn't panic. Your principal asked me if we should close the school. I said no. There's no need to close the for two reasons. One, this disease is not airborne. It is not what? Airborne. So you can't breathe it through breathing. It is bacteria they will, they will explain more. Should they recall that the outbreak that occurred on 24th of September 2024 in Indi Bukete village in Iji local government area was recorded with 13 confirmed deaths and 69 cases administered in the hospital in the council of Iji local government area. 12 recovered individual discharged in Sudan Mission Hospital on Naimo and 3 fully recovered individual is as well discharged in Sudan Mission Hospital Ijogo as well by the CMD Reverend Joseph Mwibo as they are fully recovered from the cholera outbreak from the cholera infection. We are at uh, Sudan United Mission Hospital on Aim Abaya, the headquarters. And uh, these uh, 12 patients that so far the, the outbreak of cholera have been healed, recovered fully. They are ready now to go back home, and so we are discharging them. In short, we have discharged them, and we will not charge them at the instance of the executive uh, chairman of EG, local government council, Honorable Barrister Stephen Wampa. We want to really uh, and sincerely thank God for the type of governor he has given us, uh, and also the Commissioner for Health, Dr. Moses Ekman, and all their responsive team. They have been coming here with uh, a lot of commodities to really help us here for these people. We can't forget also to thank God for the World Health Organization. They have also come to, uh, to assist us. Last Saturday, we discharged three. Now we are discharging 12, making them a total of 15 persons. And we thank God that we didn't, lo we didn't lose any of them. It was only two that were brought dead here. Those are the only casualty. Apart from that, all these people that were brought here, God has really helped us and they are fully recovered and ready to go back to their respective homes at Ndibukut. So all of them are coming from the village of uh, Ndibukut. I also want to thank, the, thank God for the staff of um, RHS. Thank you so much. You people have been wonderful. May God bless you and bless you and bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So on behalf of the Sudan, I mean the Synod of the Jat Form Church and the Board of RHS, we say to you, thank you so much. Congratulations to the village of Ndibukote for these recovered ones. Congratulations to the Boeing State and congratulations to Sudan Mission Hospital Administrator 
and many others. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and drop your comments now.